So I'm noticing that many YouTubers are doing opening intros to their videos now. So this is going to be mine. For my speech class, I have to do business week every week. I have to put five facts that are the most important from every single article. I still have another 16 articles to do. And there goes my phone. And it's quite time consuming. And I also have an, ele an elevator speech to give on Monday. So, yeah, this has been my life. Oh, and also Hurricane Irma uh, tore open Florida. I'm safe, but it tore open Florida. <laughs> All right, let's get into the video. What's up, you guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a video because I know it's been quite some time since I have actually uploaded and gotten a haircut, apparently. And I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I was looking around at uh, earlier today, and it's the ban list. Now, I know everyone's already beaten it to death. Um, everyone's been talking about, where's the ban list? Where's, where's the ban list? I'm not going to kill that. I'm actually going to be looking at this from a different perspective. Now, the last ban list that we got, we got it on the 18th of the fifth month. I can't remember when that was. That was June. It was June. Um, June or July. But anyway, it was 05-18-2017. So at midnight tonight, it will be 9-18-2017. And it's going to be exactly four months since we got in a ban list. I've said it before in my previous ban list videos that no ban list is going to be all that great without an end date. And this is obviously Konami's way of being lazy, and you have to keep in mind from a uh, money standpoint, a profit standpoint. You know, I'm willing to bet money that they make far much more profit in their pachinko machines and their video games. That's just how it is. Metal Gear Solid is an amazing series that has done amazingly well. I've only played like Ground Zeroes, and I thought it was kind of lame, but anyway. Uh, a lot of people love those games. A lot of people, especially gamblers, love pachinko machines. So Konami wants to delve into that market, and they want to put in more of their assets into those markets. And because of that, there are the markets suffer. And Konami is known for being a pretty garbage business. Now, I could sit here and bitch and rant and moan about the ban list, or I could also talk to you about other things, such as numero uno, this format is boring as hell. And I also happen to find out that my locals, uh, the new one that opened up in my neighborhood, is doing free Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments, as in they're not doing tournaments. <laughs> so... Ever, ever since I topped Kissimmee with uh, Trick Stars, and yes, that was a top. I'm not going to say it wasn't because it was 18th place. I finished higher than Robbie Cole, and he was just at a regional and came in 26. And he specifically said in his post, I topped my regional, I came in 26. I don't want to hear it. I came in 18th. <laughs> um, so I went to my locals. And, you know, of course, I'm still playing Trick Star. It's the only deck I can build right now because I'm not going to pick up Spirals because I already have my invite. There's no point in me playing the game right now until we actually get a new list, which is why the game is so boring, but I'll get into that in a minute. And I, I, I actually think, too, that this story speaks for just the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh! just kind of being boring and stale right now, not just because of the fact it's probably not big in the area that I live in because it's very big in other parts of Florida and, like, near my hometown, but anyway... So, I go in, uh, today's Sunday, so this was yesterday, Saturday, the 16th. I, uh, I go, the tournaments usually start at 6, two kids show up, they're new to the game. Uh, we'll leave it at that, you know the proper terminology, but I know some people from there watch my videos, so we're going to use the proper terminology. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I play them, smack them, whatever, just having fun, um, and obviously they, they realize that I'm good at the game. They're like, wow, you're you're really good at this game, which I'm actually not all that good. I was just playing a degenerate trick star deck. Well, I'm talking to the owner, and the owner says, well, we're trying to be an OTS store, and uh, we uh, are doing free tournaments until then. So I'm like, okay, that's great. You know, free free tournament. You know, no entry. I'm like, what's the prize support? He goes, oh, there's no prize support. What? Yeah, 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 there's no prize support because, you know, we're doing a free tournament, so we can't have any prize support. We want to get the prize support directly through Konami. 
Ha! And so begins the days that they stopped doing Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. <laughs> Even though the owner said, we're still doing Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, we're still doing Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, and yet they have it specifically listed on their Facebook page, September 30th, they're doing a tournament. They're not doing a tournament because it's free. So there's no prize support. So you're playing for brownie points and just to smack some people at the side of the head. I can do that on Dev Pro or Duel's book. I don't have to go to a locals to swack some people with Trickstar. <laughs> I did that at the regional up top. So, yeah, it just this that whole thing speaks for how boring Yu-Gi-Oh is right now without a ban list. It's like I haven't logged in a dueling book in maybe three or four months. The last time I logged in a dueling book, I was still playing the Trickstar OTK build with Darkroom and Nightmares, and then I pretty much play tested solely on. Uh, Dev Pro a little bit, and even then when I went to the regional, I didn't even play test all that much because I figured, well, I'm probably going to do bad anyway, but I want to have this deck build and go ahead and try it out. So, <sighs> Konami needs to get their act together. They need to readjust the balance or something. I'm not going to be one of these people out here saying, oh, they should just have one balance together and blah, blah, blah. No. I've been playing since 2008, buddy. If we had one balance again, let me tell you what would happen. We would go back to Tier 0 Light Sworn format, where when Light Sworns were Tier 0 here, they weren't Tier 0 in Japan, and you know what happened? They didn't touch Light Sworns at all. And that this was at the point when we got, like, two ban lists a year, or, like, every nine months we got a ban list. So pretty much for, like, a year and a half, we had Light Sworns at full power. Then when they finally got Charge of the Light Brigade, which, I, if I remember correctly, was a TCG exclusive, once they got it in Japan, then they were Tier 0, and then they completely obliterated Light Sworns. So if we went back to having just one ban list, like one unified ban list, the only way that that would be good is if we had unified sets. Meaning that when Japan got circuit break, we got circuit break. When they got whatever's after circuit break, isn't it like Duelist, Spectre, whatever has the Samurai support, we would get that at the same time. Uh, any sort of Duelist packs would all come out at the same time. We would both be getting things at the exact same time. However, this is both a good and a bad thing because it's a good thing for Worlds because then we're pretty much on an equal level playing field. However, it's bad for innovation because we pretty much looked at Japan to just pretty much copy whatever whatever the best deck on over there. So it's it's a give and take. I think overall that having one unified ban list isn't going to solve anything. It's just going to kind of probably make matters worse because, yeah, they have set dates for their lists over in Japan. But that's because it's Japan. <laughs> you know, they actually care about their players. Konami of America doesn't. And that's kind of where I'm, I don't want to get political in this video because then it goes into the whole thing of, you know, Japan and China don't like us, yet we're allies with them. And it goes into a whole political thing. I think you, I hope you know where I'm could potentially be going with that. <laughs> but all I'm going to say is Japan likes their players more than us, so they're going to treat them better. That's all I'm going to say. That's a little bit of a conspiracy, a tinfoil hat theory, but that's just kind of the way I feel. It's not, you know, probably how Konami deals with things, but still. It's, it's one way of looking at it. Someone told me to do more conspiracy theories, so there's your conspiracy theory for it. So, just... We need to have set lists. At, at, at the very end of the day, if we can at least have a set date, and Konami of America came out and said, look, we're going to have set dates again. Yes, I know I've been playing with note cards this entire time, or sticky notes. <laughs> if they came out and said, we're going to have a set date. However, this set date does not mean that you could get a brand new ban list between now and the date that the new list is supposed to come out. If, then they could say, if we do not have a list ready by the time of the end date, of our um, speculated end date, we will notify you. So, for example, let's say we get a list tomorrow, because I have a feeling the list might drop tomorrow, if not, no later than September 25th, because there's a YCS like October 1st. They've got to have a list before October 1st. There's no way that they're going to wait till after that YCS, because it's just going to be zoo insane. So... Let's say that they came out with a list tomorrow. They said, all right, this list is going to be September 18th, and it will go into effect September, we'll say, I don't know, 25th. Give people the time to get rid of their stuff. Goes into effect the 25th, four months down the road. Four months from September 25th is when we predict to have a new list ready for you. 
again, they could come out and say, this does not mean that you could have a new list between now and then. This is just a speculated point as to when we might have a new list. That would make things a whole lot better. Now you might say, what about the secondary market? Well, the secondary market would kind of just do what it used to do back when we had um, a set date. Everything would just kind of go down once it got closer to that point, or it would just be like nationals. Everything would go up right before nationals, and everything would tank back down after nationals because everybody would be trying to sell everything. So it would be like around nationals time every four to six months or whenever Konami wanted to release a new list. It's If they truly did care, they would have at least a speculated predicted time frame when they could give us a new list. And if they couldn't make it at that time, then Kevin Tour could sit on his little computer, hee hee, I'm gonna write a little report for you guys and say we're gonna have a list mid September and it's gonna, you know, kill everything. Meh. Buddy, it's past mid September and we still don't have a list. Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> like mid September I consider to be like the middle of September, like the fifteenth. It's only thirty days in September, Kevin Tour. I don't know if you know that or not, but it's only 30 days, and it's almost the end of September, and we still don't have a list. So, I'm just saying. But let me know what you guys think. I kind of just wanted to discuss things and ramble with you guys, because I know it's been over a couple weeks since I last posted a video, and I think I have, like, laryngitis or something, so I apologize if you couldn't hear me that well. Um, but school has just been really insane. Um, her The hurricane really put a dent in a lot of things that um, school-wise that I've been working on. Um, I'm doing two online classes, so all of my due dates kind of got like pushed back. At the same time, however, I had to double time it because then other assignments that were due before the hurricane were pretty much due that upcoming week. So I had to double time it to get everything turned in. So I just really haven't had time to even pick up my cards and play, um, to play test. Not that there's anything to play test other than, you know, zoo, 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 zoo. Um, so, you know, it's, it's really nothing for me to even test or mess around with. I might mess around with spirals. I really don't know. I really don't care about that deck. And, ooh, you get to go plus 11. I mean, if it's around for nationals, I'll care. That's if I even go to nationals, but I mean, I have my invite, so I'm not going to invest in spirals just to scrub out at a regional. Forget that. I'm going to go play chamber at all these events now, or I might judge. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Should I judge or should I play spirals at another regional once we get the double helix crap? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. More videos to come. Thank you for being patient, and I will see you guys in the next video.